Hey, so this is what I worked on today during English class. Hey guys, a few weeks ago, I made a SpaceX rocket in a simulation sandbox game, and I thought to myself, oh, I could probably make this in Unity and make it land automatically. So I was like, yeah, this is gonna be an easy idea. And then it took like nine hours of code to get this working. So here's the result, here's how I did it. I've gotten something very basic working just a cylinder that moves around as if it's a rocket and you control it. And as you can see, it's pretty hard to control. So this is all the code for this. And then I have a game object for the location of the thrust. So this is lower down near the bottom because this is where the thrust usually is in a rocket. Then you get the horizontal and vertical. Trying to make the thing that shows where the thrust is going. So you, when you vector the thrust, <laughs> and I just found the solution, it's so simple. I, this line of code took like three hours. Oh my god, I just found it. I tried so many things. I tried like uh, quaternion dot look rotation. I tried like uh, like the look at thing. I don't know if it's on quaternion. I tried quaternion dot Euler angles, Euler rotation, two Euler angles. I tried absolutely everything. Three hours for this line of code. But now as you can see my demonstration works. After that I did a bunch of reading on rocket trajectories and how to calculate them. And I also had to try to remember my math that I was doing earlier this year about quadratics and stuff to calculate the landing of the rocket and things like that. I, I was able to make the acceleration of the rocket be zero by making it the same as gravity, 9.81. So now if I double this, then I'll be able to like see when to turn on the engine. The thrust to weight ratio of the Falcon 9 is 1.6 to 1, which means if gravity is 9.81, multiply that by 1.6, do this minus 9.81. Uh, okay, I'll figure out the math and I'll show you the result in a sec. No way, I think I got it. Oh my god, no way, no way. Okay, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, oh my god, I think it worked. Let's see what. Okay, you fly up. Comes down. I'm not pressing space. Okay, that, that might be a problem. Wait, what's wrong here? Is it just not reacting fast enough? Hey, so this is what I worked on today during English class. I'll move the rocket up a bit further, like up here, and then I'll also rotate it on the X and Z axis. So it's like weirdly sideways. When the rocket drops, it orients itself upwards and then also lands on zero. So if I um, reduce the motion, reduce the position to just the Y so it doesn't move out. You can see it rotates itself properly and then lands on the platform smoothly uh, with like a velocity of almost zero, like like 0 0.005 meters per second. So the way I did this is really quite simple. So for the direction, I don't use the inputs anymore. I just uh, use the transform.up so it tries to face up. Transform.up.x is the X and transform.up.z is the y of the vector 2. It uses the x and the z, not the y because the y is kind of useless. And then it also clamps it between negative 1 and 1 because you don't want the engine firing really weirdly. Like this vector 2 is only meant to be between negative 1 and 1. And I also multiply it by 0.3 because I saw it was oscillating a lot when it, when it wasn't multiplied by 0 0.3. So that's how that works. Uh, in terms of the landing it properly now, I actually throttle it um, so it turns on the engines earlier and then uses the throttle either sets it to 0 0.75 or 1 depending on where it's predicted to land. Now is it just me or is this rocket looking kind of thick? Hey guys so another game session later during English class and I'm back with this. I'll show you the final result and then I'll talk about it. The green line is where it's expected to go. It goes to the gray dot and then the red line is the expected landing. They're pretty similar and as you can see I got a 3D model from the internet of the SpaceX rocket. I'm actually surprised at how detailed it is like it has the grid fins and everything like the landing gear and stuff. So now I'll talk about the codes. I just made it all visualize. It's showing you where it's predicting to land. Um, one of the crucial things that I found out today in the code is I wanted to have zero drag and zero angular drag because those just felt like cheating. They like slowed it down and made it too easy. So I had to somehow dampen the rotation to reduce the oscillation that occurred when you just turn off angular drag. This piece of code right here, where does it end? Yeah, just this. So it subtracts the vector two uh, of the angular velocity dot z and dot x 
And for some reason, it took me like 30 minutes to figure this out during English while the teacher was talking. But like, you have to switch the Z and X, which makes no sense. But like, and then also make the Z negative. It makes absolutely no sense, but like, it works. <laughs> It works really well. So I have the value set to 0.35. I also had to reduce the the correction angle, angle of attacks. Yeah, not much else has changed. Uh, I also calculate time to turn the engine on is different than the predicted landing height because I want to turn the engine on a bit earlier, take into consideration like the rotation and stuff like that and the time it'll take to correct it and the altitude that we would lose. So all this stuff put together makes this really dope looking scene. And I also have these gizmos of like the line and the few spheres that just help me see what's going on. So there's a lot more stuff I want to add. I think would be a lot more interesting. So I think the SpaceX rockets, they do an entry burn like when they're entering the atmosphere and then another final burn, which is what this is. So I want to experiment with that. And that entry burn would have to like uh, set your trajectory to land on the platform, which is also super interesting. I also want to work with the horizontally falling starship and also make a two-stage like starship and booster kind of rocket as well as use the grid fins the grid fins i think would be super fun so i'm actually really excited for this stuff i'll keep working on it like during english and stuff and i'll make more videos like this so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe for more interesting fun stuff like this and have a great day